Hello, we're gonna talk about three ways that will help you not get scammed when being sold, right? They'll help you not get sold to um, against your will. So there's nothing really that makes me more sad when people get um, strong-armed into buying something that it really isn't in their best interest. So a year ago, I went through this conference. It was an Amazon training in downtown Salt Lake, and it really made me sick because there were a lot of people there that had no experience on the internet and me knowing how hard it is to sell on Amazon um, and seeing what they were being sold, I really didn't trust these people's ability, some of them, their ability to make a, success, a successful business out of what they were um, doing, what the speakers were presenting, okay? So they came out with a really hard sale, $70,000, it was crazy. And, and not only that, they had somebody from a a loan from a loan company, a banker, come out and, and sell people on positive debt, on how it's okay to invest in a business. And they're, they're getting people that, ha that don't have the money. These are people that are, that are getting loans and, and going into debt to buy the training, okay? So a lot of times these sales pitches, they, they present information, they invest in you for sometimes for multiple days, and then they're selling to you and they want to make you feel as if their option is the only option for you to get the results that they've been talking about for the last several days. So you almost get manipulated and, and almost like hypnotized into thinking that that's the only option. It's crazy. So that's tip number one for me is you gotta realize that whenever you have one of these, um, you're being sold something, that it's only one of many options, of many roads that you could take to solve your problem. So the, the rule and the, the first way is just to know that there are many ways to skin a cat and you don't have to go their route. That as much as they say that you either take our road or you're gonna go the long road and maybe not get there, just realize that that's not the case and that there are multiple ways to skin the cat. Tip two is 24 hour rule. I once sold a bike to one of my friends when I was 12 and he's, he told me, he said, Dale, I can't buy the bike today. My mom says anytime we make it an important purchase, I have to sleep on it. I have to wait 24 hours. So that's a rule that I use. Whenever making any sort of financial decision that's significant, I always sleep on it, okay? Rule, that's tip two, the 24 hour rule. Tip three is imagine that you're okay spending the money and you say, great, I'm willing to spend $70,000 on that package Take a step back and make a list. How else could you spend $70,000 to get you closer to what they're selling? How, how else could you spend the money? You know, I was recently sold something, a $30,000 package I didn't buy, but I was quite interested. And then I stepped back and I thought, well, how else could I spend $30,000 on mentoring and coaching over the next year to take me where I wanted to go? And as I made that list, I was so excited about all these alternatives and I felt there was huge value. So much value that when I looked back at the offer that I was given for, for $30,000, I, I knew that, that for the place where I'm in right now, that I would be better off going with this new list that I created. So those are the three tools. Know that there are multiple ways to skin a cat and don't be convinced by these amazing salespeople that um, theirs is the only way. Number two, the 24 hour, hour rule, just sleep on it. And then number three, think how else could you spend the money? I hope that helps.